Well, yes, indeed. Uh, keeping our focus on the defections, you just heard some key political figures speaking of about it. We've got two gentlemen here with me. Steve Asimobi is a member of the uh, convention committee. He just concluded the convention of the APC. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. And then Demola Larry Waji is a member of the PDP, also a strategy team of their online platform. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you very much, Mbani. Well, Steve, I'm going to start with you. We're just uh, hearing some, yes, your party has been speaking up about this. Uh, and then the latest comment by Tainan, very interesting one, uh, where he says, well, so uh, insofar as, look, all the reasons they gave for leaving the party, none of them was directed at the president to the extent that those who have defected say they will be working for the president in the PDP. And isn't that wishful thinking? Is that, can that really be the case? Of course. Um, this is politics. And um, it's a politics is a concentric circle of conspiracy amongst a few elites. So everything is possible. Amongst a few elites? Yes. Or to the detriment of the people? No, so that's not, I, I'm telling you the definition of politics. That's a concentric, concentric the, 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 the people, they are, there is leadership in, in everything you do in life. Leadership, pure leadership. So, um, the, part, the party has spoken. The presidential uh, uh, liaison to the National Assembly, Tana Anna has also spoken. He's a link between the National Assembly and the presidency. And he has told you in clear language that the APC senators and federal house members who have defected says they are going to work for the president. You Governor Umahi Uma, Uma, of Ebo also made similar statements a while ago. So uh, you that, believe that then? Oh, sure. Because, of course, you know that um, this gale of this um, gale of defections are born out of, like uh, our national chairman said, Adam Sochomele, that they are born out of local politics. Even the presidency has also come up with that statement. People are talking. We, we just finished our national convention. We just also did our congresses across the country to elect party officers. And so as a sitting senator, if you lose the structure of the party, it's a clear language that you're not accepted in your party, in your state. That means that you will not be able to seek for re-election in your party to represent APC as a candidate in the next election. That's why they're all looking for platforms, new platforms. You know, political parties are vehicles that will take you to your political destination. And so you can come from my two and get to Oshodi and say, I don't want to. This vehicle has become too hot for me. I want to leave. And that's what you see playing out. It's not because they are very popular and all that, but because they are looking for platforms to actualize their vision to run for election. They're, not, they're not very popular. Some of them are not very popular. Some of them, some of them were made senators because of the name of Muhammad Bar, especially those of them in the north. I just say it. Whereas some people who ran so, so they were unpopular enough to remain in the APC? They were? Unpopular enough No, 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 they, they, they the were APC. our candidates for those elections, obviously, no doubt about it. But I'm saying that the name Muhammad Bouhari sold them, sold their tickets. It's the truth of the matter. Bouhari was like a whirlwind in 2015, and it's going to be a tsunami in 2019. Not forgetting that he had contested three times before that last time. How come and, uh, 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 the whirlwind didn't happen at the time? Uh, really? Because, of course, you know, at, at that time, we've, we, he went to court severally, alleging that he was rigged out. You know the history. He accused the judiciary of not doing the right thing. You, of course, you know the people. But that's irregular. Politicians the, always do that. The PDP was in power for 16 years. Of course, unfortunately, I was part of it. Okay. Them. Yes. Larry Waji. Um, are you taking that kind of comment lightly when he says, look, yes, they may have defected, but they will be working for the APC even while in the PDP. Uh, well, uh, Chamberlain, I'm sure you've, uh, you've had enough politicians on this platform and you've seen enough of political behavior to understand that uh, there's something called political delusion. Basically, I mean, we, we saw it, you know, in the years before 2014, 2015, just before the PDP lost power. Five governors left the party and some people were also making those kind of statements that, oh, it doesn't matter and so on and so forth. That's what's presently going on in the APC. They believe that because, you know, we are the ruling party, you know, um, no shaking, basically. That's what they are trying to tell us. But um, uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm sure Mr. Steve might know that um, even Senator Ita Enang himself has been accused by people within the president's uh, inner caucus of working for the PDP. So Senator Ita Enang himself, you know, because people are saying that, look, you are the presidential liaison officer to the, to the, to the, to the Senate, you know, that 
how can you not know that 14 members were going to defect? That so it is possible that you are also in collusion with the PDP. So I won't be surprised to discover, you know, after 2019, when um, the APC government is finally voted out, for Senator Ita Enang to come out and come back home because he was a PDP senator, he was a PDP House of Rep member before he also defected to the APC. And so if he's saying that, oh, those who are defecting have agreed to work, then, you know, Nigerians should question it. I mean, we are all witnesses to what is going on. Presently, if you would ask me, I would even say that there are some who should have defected, but have not yet come out openly to say we have defected. But we all know them, you know, we all know that they are coming eventually, but they are still going to be there, you know. And I'm eager as a person to see um, to see Chairman Adams or Shomali convene his first National Executive Committee, uh, National Executive Council of APC meeting, because at that meeting um, you would have a very strong PDP representation. I won't mention names, but you would have people like um, um, the Senate President sitting beside Mr. So President is he a at that meeting. PDP? No, he's not. No, 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 he's not. But I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That, that, no, excuse me. I'm, 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 trying, to, I'm no, trying to respond. Yeah, yeah, we don't dwell in rumors. I'm trying to respond. I'm trying to respond. Those who defected, Nigerians know. APDP, APC knows that they are going. They are no more with us in spirit. Uh, Mr. Simobi. Yes, please. You know, let it be okay. properly coordinated. Okay. You will okay. have your time. Okay. okay. But Demol, if, if I could ask, because, I mean, when this kind of comment comes through, and people remember just very recent history, about the former national chairman of your party, even though they may argue that they eventually ended up in court and they lost the case in court, uh, um, Amodi Sheriff. And eventually, uh, we saw him at the convention, the just concluded convention of the APC. Can that then be taken lightly that, look, yes, they may have left, but don't underestimate that they can work for us while in your party? You see, what is going, what usually goes on, you know, with this kind of games is that. Um, the balance favors, it works more in favor of those who are out of power than those who are in power. In the sense that if you're out of power, there's nothing you can use to retain members. If members are coming to you, it's basically because they sense that the national mood is changing. We saw it happen also with PDP. People were defecting to the APC. Of course, PDP thought there was no problem, but they were defecting because the national mood was changing away from the PDP. So what is going on now is that the national mood is also changing now. It is difficult. Is, it that, is, is, that, is that national mood or yes. politicians themselves? No, it's the, it's, it's the national mood. I mean, everybody can see. Everybody knows, you know, because the politicians, they have, very, they have a very, very strong political antenna. So what they are picking up in the system is that, look, the way we are going, the APC has failed. We haven't delivered on our campaign. We have promises. We haven't delivered on our promise of change and so on and so forth. And so that's why they are moving. But you see, it is, it is easier for people to remain and work as moles in the ruling party than work as a mole in the opposition party because... If you're going to work as a mole, you know, the idea of a mole itself is an animal. You have to eat something. You have to be eating something there. And everybody knows that APC is the one that has been trying to, you know, um, um, use all sorts of means to retain their, their legislators, retain members in that party. So the possibility that there are moles who should, have defected to, who should have defected to the PDP but are still waiting because they don't want to lose some benefits in the APC is higher than somebody coming to PDP in order to be a mole, because basically you don't have, any, you don't have anything you want to benefit. Um, there's, there's a senator from, uh, from, from Ogun State, Senator Larry Ted Joshua, who was part of, he announced his defection, and then eventually they got him to come back, you know, so he went back and to, Abdullah he went back, and Abdullah, 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 Abdull